there is no time in church history where you have people pray more than our time and our generation there are ministries that conduct night vigil every week is that true there are people who there are ministries that have prayer chains running through the year prayer chains of six hours eight hours there are ministries that have paid and employed prayer warriors men and women who believe that they have been called into the intercessory ministry hallelujah so the problem is not that we don't pray the problem is that it seems to me that a majority of our prayers go unanswered is that true and this is again one of the reasons why most of the prayer meetings of many churches are not a well attended to you don't find a lot of people you can find a church with a membership strength of 5,000 and see only 600 people come for prayer meeting is that true because hidden in us is this this pain this contemplation that we have that the degree of spiritual energy we're dissipating in the place of prayer is not commensurate to the result that we're getting is that true and i know that many of us have asked these questions some of us have put ourselves on prayer and fasting programs some of us fast every week some of us fast many times in a week hallelujah there are ministries that begin prayer and fasting programs every year seven days 21 days and for months and there are people who have even taken fast for a whole year the highest i've seen in my life is a gentleman who fasted for 400 days 400 days six to six i rounded up the 400th day with him you would imagine that at the end of 400 days all his prayers past present and future should have been answered so what is the frustration why is it that in our christian experience we do not find that our prayers are answered yet the bible tells us something interesting let's turn to matthew 21 verse 22 oh i love the holy spirit i love the holy spirit see when the holy spirit is permitted listen let me digress a bit something just touched my heart i'm really talking about the ministry of the holy spirit tonight but i just want to start on this note did you know that the holy spirit is crippled and bound in many churches and many of our christian circles the ministry of the Holy Spirit has been so limited. There is so much the Holy Ghost wants to do in the church. There is so much the Holy Ghost wants to do in the life of the believer. But in many circles, his ministry is limited. And for other Pentecostal circles that have been a bit open, the limitation they have given the Holy Spirit is just praying in tongues. And that does it. But there is so much there is so much that the holy spirit can do matthew 21 it says and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer what's the condition believing ye shall receive this is the bible this is the word of god that is infallible it says what things soever ye shall ask in prayer if you ask it believing he said he shall receive hallelujah and yet the truth is that we pray and according to what we know believing to be we really believe is that true but then we do not find it happen so why is that so the frustration of unanswered prayers can i tell you the truth many people in the body of christ are already used to their prayers not being answered I hope you know that we just pray it because it keeps us spiritual but the truth is the average believer today does not even expect his prayer to be answered hallelujah when we pray and the result comes we are so shocked and we say lord i thank you i know it's not my prayer have you heard people speak like that 
yet they prayed and they said lord we trust your visitation the frustration of unanswered prayer when we lay hands on the sick and we pray or when we pray about certain things we say in the name of jesus and everybody say amen and immediately after that prayer people go and do something that they have already said god should do for instance when you say oh lord we are trusting you that um you will do a miracle in this family in the name of jesus we are trusting you that by six in the morning there should be a miracle we believe this in the mighty name of jesus amen three hours later everybody's sweating around the house finding solutions and once it's evening people say look let's let's push this thing they are making all the calls and doing everything we can do yet what was the content of our prayer oh god intervene and we said we believe we know that you will do this and when we said in jesus name everybody shouted amen in other words let it be so so there is a lot of frustration can i tell you something nobody wants to waste his time investing in anything that does not work are you getting my point the reason why many of you know and we teach in church we teach people pray 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 become prayerful become prayerful let me tell you the truth our concentration should not be to teach the people how to pray it should teach them the principles of making the prayer work if prayer really works you will not need to tell anybody pray is that true number two the second frustration that i've seen in the body of christ is what i call the seeming powerlessness of the word of god in the face of real life situations please take note of my my choice of words don't write what i did not say the seeming powerlessness of the word of god in the face of real life situations in the face of sickness in the face of failure in the face of evil in the face of terrorism hallelujah it's easy to believe and say i believe your word your word works you know it has become a slogan in the body of christ the word of god works and people say yeah the word works but the truth is is it really working in our lives hallelujah when we stand face to face with sickness when we stand face to face with failure when we stand face to face with evil when we stand face to face with witchcraft and all the things that tie the destinies of men down for many of us our testimony has been that the word did not work in quote in the face of that is that true we brought the word of god we spoke the word of god we believe the word of god many of us maybe we found ourselves sick and we confess by his stripes i am healed the truth is you would have died if you did not run to the chemist is that true you spoke the word you even probably listened to one koinonia message and obeyed everything as taught to the latter yet it seemed not to work the second frustration i've seen in the body of christ one is the tragedy the frustration of unanswered prayer number two is the seeming powerlessness of the word of god i know people i know churches that unfortunately were victims of bomb blast and all of that and the church that blew up had scriptures written on their walls is that true answer me is that true yet these kinds of things happen many cars that has stickers all sufficient god and you see the kind of ghastly motor accident one tire there the other side there half of the car and all the people died yet the a scripture is that true was pasted there so there are many unanswered questions and let me tell you something brothers and sisters if you want to contend for the glory of god you must not allow anybody to pretend that those questions are answered in your life when they are not answered the secret listen to me 
the secret to authentic christianity is to keep asking those questions until you find an answer i'm a very inquisitive person and i don't take yes sir for an answer praise god many of us believe a lot of things that we do not understand and we just receive all kinds of junks that cannot be proven and in the face of real life situations they do not work a sister speaks and says in the name of jesus the bible says male and female he created them you began to speak that word at 23 now you are 37 and no man has come yet 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 you've been speaking that word truly genuinely i know people who their phones are full of scripture their ringtone scripture text tone scripture alarm tones scripture they sleep with bible audio bible they wake up with audio bible in their car at work their laptops everything is the word of god yet there is nothing changing in their lives and these people are asking questions that we the men of god are ashamed or afraid of confronting is somebody getting blessed tonight hallelujah there are many homes that are being raised by armed robbers and while they were shooting people at the point of death the people were saying i shall not die yet they died is someone getting what i'm saying tonight i'm, I'm here to provoke maybe it's just me that thinks about these things does it happen to you the reason is because we have created a protocol in ministry that shuts your mouth is that true so when you want to ask us they say keep quiet there must be some level of authentic result that can stamp you know that this one came as a result of the answer help us holy spirit there is something we are missing in the church i'm obsessed about studying the ancient church and let me tell you something we are not close we are not close to what the book of acts you know um it fueled up my curiosity again because the school of ministry students were studying with were, were studying acts the book of acts all through this week and um as i read through some of the students are just remembering i know you didn't read anything praise god if you can answer these questions listen whoever can answer this question will rule in this earth today here and now these are the questions that the governments of nations have not been able to answer preachers have answered a little of these questions to an extent very little and we have esteemed them so high but i pray that god will open our eyes there has to be a way the bible said there is a part although no fowl has seen it it is there there is a part he said and the whelps of the lion can we be so sure that we come when we come to the house of god solutions will be provided guaranteed can we be that sure praise the lord so what is the problem what is the problem what is the missing link what are we missing how many of you believe that God is almighty? Let me see your hands. How many of you believe that these issues that I've talked about, the problem is not from God? Is that true? That means we must search. We must search. We must search. Oh God, open our eyes. I've studied this thing carefully and I've come up with two solutions that I want us to consider based on the word of God. I truly believe with all my heart that the solution to these problems and these frustrations lie in two things. And that if we solve these things, then we will see levels of the glory that we have never seen. I believe that the missing link is that we lack the faith to back up our prayers to back up our words and to back up our steps or actions to release the power of god i believe 
that the first problem is a faith problem let me tell you something true faith bible faith faith that really moves mountains is a product of an encounter it's a product of an encounter it's not a product of confession and jacking yourself into some psychosis or metaphysics faith bible faith that moved mountains and will move any mountain is a derivative of a real genuine encounter that brings a reality in your spirit that supersedes any experience supersedes any pressure this is the factor that we are lacking in the church i truly am convinced that this is one of the reasons why we are not seeing the power of god 